Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this lesson, I want to give you guys a quick introduction to what is latitude and what is longitude. So you can see here right now, I'm inside Google Earth and I'm looking at a picture of a 3D model of the Earth. And you can see that it has a grid, okay? It's got grid lines going across horizontally and it's got grid lines going down vertically. So if we give these grid lines a name, then what happens is the grid lines going across. So these lines here going across, I call them um, latitude, lines of latitude. And these lines that are going down, I call them lines of longitude. So sorry, I'm not drawing them very well. They should be drawn matching the white lines because they're the proper lines. But you can see here, latitude all go through the same point, okay, at the top of the Earth, the um, North Pole. And they all go through the South Pole. They go all come down to one single point. Whereas latitude, they just go across and they don't touch each other at all. They are all parallel. Okay, so the latitude lines won't touch each other. Okay, so how do we, um, what's the numerical value of these lines? So what happens is, you can see that if I zoom in a bit, the equator is what we call zero degrees. The latitude line right through the middle of the Earth has zero degrees. And then if we go north of the equator, so upwards, we have five degrees. So this line, this line is five degrees. Um, so that's zero. This line is five degrees. This line is zero degrees, five degrees north, 10 degrees north, 15 degrees north, and so on. So we keep going up and up, up until the top line is 90 degrees and then we keep going down from zero and we call them south so five degrees south 10 degrees south 15 degrees south and so on all the way to 90 degrees and then so these are the these are how we label the um, lines of latitude so how do we label the lines of longitude well let's go to Let's go to um, zero degrees. And that's this zero degrees of longitude is called the prime meridian. The prime meridian goes through England. Okay, as you will see. So it goes through England, but we're not going to talk too much about it. Just going to look at the mathematical perspective. So we have this vertical line called zero degrees, this line going through England. And then to the right, we have five degrees east, 10 degrees east, 15 degrees east, and so on. And then to the left, we have five degrees west, 10 degrees west. 15 degrees west and all all that stuff so what is the point in labeling all these lines because now we can use latitude and longitude to identify any point on the earth you can see if i move my mouse to any single point the number at the bottom right is changing okay this number right here is changing it disappears when i move my mouse off so it's sort of hard to show you but um, if I take a screenshot of that, anyway, now it's there. So the latitude is 11, negative 11 and longitude is 34. But um, negative 11, it just means 11 degrees south. And then we have 11 degrees north and so on. So... Now we have a way of 
pinpointing any single point on the Earth. So if we go to Brisbane, for example, where I'm living now, you can see that Brisbane has some coordinates on it. So let's go to that. So the vertical line of where, of where Brisbane is, is about 152.75 degrees east. And it becomes quite obvious because if you zoom out a bit, okay, you can see that Brisbane is, this line is 145, this line is 155. So Brisbane is just to the left of 155, and that's why it is um, 153 degrees east. So let me just write that down, 153 degrees east. So how far is it south? Well, if I zoom out a bit, you can see that it's about 25 degrees south over here. But if I zoom in a bit, okay, we got Brisbane over here. So it is about 27.5 degrees south. So I'm going to write that down again, 27.5 degrees south. Oops, how did it get that big? So yeah, now we can use lines of latitude and longitude to classify any point on the Earth. Let's just do one more point. So let's do Perth, okay, to the west of Australia. Sorry that I'm not very good at um, dragging this around. But where is Perth? So there it is, Perth right there, and you can see just by looking at it that um, since we have about 31 degrees south is, oops, oh, why did I do that? So since about 31 degrees south is this line, really need a, 31 degrees south is this line, 32 is this line, 33 is this line, so it must be 32 degrees south. So you usually write the latitude first, and then you write the longitude. So I have 113, 114, 115, 116, so it's about 115 point nine, or 115.8 degrees east. Yep, so you write, you would probably write it like this, 32 degrees south, 115.8 degrees east. Okay, I hope that gives you some idea of how latitude and longitude works. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.